Hey, folks. Baby sisters are going to give me a party, and I want all of you to come. And, and, and I'll tell you how to get there. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you how to get there first. You, 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 come, out, you come out the big road, and now if you're, or whether you're going up the road, you'll turn right. But if you're coming down that road, you have to turn left to get out there onto the little road. And it's there at the big tree. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the road, uh, there's a big tree in the corner where you turn off of the big road onto the little road. Now you turn right there and you come out the road just a little ways. And then it'll curve and you go a little further and you come on out there to where the, where the storm tore the big tree down. And, and Sister's Lane's right by the side of it. And you'll know it's a right stump because it'll have the, hen, the old Domernecker hen's got a nest in there. And she's sitting on a whole passel of eggs. So you, you'll know where to turn. You can get there. You can't miss it. And you go right out her lane then. And the, the party's at the Big Rock. And that's where we played when we was kids all the time. That's where everybody gathered to play in the community. And she's going to, so she's going to give me this party there. And I want all of you to come. And that, that, that big rock is, 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 is in, in the hog lot. Well, the hog lot's and it's where she lives. But, uh, well, it used to be the hog lot. But anyhow, that's where the party is. But now I'll go ahead and tell you about, uh, uh about where we played at the big rock. Uh. It was just a wonderful place. It was flat on top. You could just have the best old time. And all sorts of, we just played all sorts of games. And then it was shaped, the inside of it was shaped like a big U. And we cleaned that out. We was going to build us a playhouse in it. We got it all swept out and it looked so good. And so we decided that, baby sister and I did, that we would, that we, that we would just go out in the field and get us some rocks. For furniture because we had decided that one one little flat rock just big enough for one little hiney would be a chair and if it was a bigger one and it would hold two little hineys that would be a love seat and that would be, just be good furniture so we took our wagon and we'd put some planks across the ditch so we could pull our wagon and it had two wheels on it just like and the, and the others was just sort of wobbly, but it rolled good, and we we took it and went across our bridge, went out in the field, and we found we found a chair. We did, we knew we had a chair when we sat down, and that one little hiney just covered it. So we got that in our wagon, and then we started on had a little further, and we found the love seat. Well, we packed it up, put it on the wagon, and and we brought it back. And come across our little bridge and brought it up to the big rock, put our chair and our love seat in there, and there was a big old space left. We decided we needed something else, so we took our wagon and we went back out in the field. And we got to looking, and I, we looked and looked, and we couldn't find it. Finally, we started back, and baby sister said, look right there, look there, look there. Boy, we found our, we found a couch. If it had hold one little honey, it would hold three. But it was so big that we did, couldn't hardly get it on our wagon. But we twisted and we turned and we just, we finally got it pulled up on there. And we was coming back across through there and we got to our little bridge and started across it. And they was a little old mouse under that bridge. And it run out, run up to baby sister's leg and right up under her dress. And she jumped over and bent over and grabbed that dress tail up. And she caught that little mouse in her dress tail. And I bet you she squeezed a pint of water out of that one little mouse. I've never seen that much water in a little mouse, in one mouse in my life. But anyhow, we got across that bridge and started to unload our couch. And baby sister picked up her end and dropped it and it made me, and it caught my finger between the between the wagon and the and the the couch and it mashed it flat. Boy, I'm a tell she's 
baby sister says, oh, I'll go get mommy. I'll go get mommy. I said, no, you're not going to tell mommy because I knew that they cured everything that ailed us. It didn't make any difference what it was. It, it, you either got black drought or castor oil. They thought it would cure anything, I think. Well, she didn't stop. She run and she told mommy. Mama, daddy's coming up across the field and she, mommy's looking at it. She says, that finger's mashed flat. She little holler, says, dad, get the castor oil. I got to thinking to myself, well, now, castor oil is not going to cure a mashed finger, and I'm not taking it. Well, they had bought a new bottle, a big old bottle, and Daddy took the cap off it, and he got a big spoon and got me a spoonful of it, and I started wiggling and kicking and squalling and going on, and a if that stuff would have cured anything that ailed you, if there'd have been anything wrong with my head, my neck, my nose, or anywhere else, they'd have cured it that day. But I got very, they got very little of it in my mouth. But in the meantime, I had kicked that table, and it knocked that castor oil off, and it had run down on the floor, and old Tom was down there. And that cat had cleaned that mess up before they could get a mop to clean it up with. But that was just the last we seen of old Tom. He, the last time we seen him, he was going. To, he had got every cat he gathered up, every cat in our community, I believe, and and there he was going out across the field. Some of them are digging holes for him. Others are covering up holes that he had used. And we haven't seen that old cat since. But if any of you sees him, I want you to call him because we love that old cat. And if any of you sees him, bring him home. And you you can bring him when you come to my party. But I'll see you.